Good morning. Hi, I'm Axel, your testing companion. I'm here to monitor you through the testing course so safety is ensured and that your testing experience is fully recorded to be examined in the future. Before we start, it's important that you understand that some tests may be very dangerous and I can't interfere with your testing experience to prevent any injuries or possible fatalities. Now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, the testing will begin now. Tunnels can be pretty hard to latch onto, but you'll get the hang of it. Yes, welcome. Level zero. I can't help you solve any tests, but don't worry. This first one should be easy. Just do your best, and you'll figure it out. I believe in you. Yay! I knew you would be able to do it. You want a great job on your first test. Before we continue on to the next one, I'm required to tell you that we provide quick rest areas for test subjects who may be overwhelmed from their testing experience. Feel free to take a nap or something. I won't watch. What's that spinny thing in there, you might be asking? It's the ecliptic tunneling device! It's required to continue on to the next tests. Most test subjects may fear the ecliptic tunneling device. However, it is completely safe. Unless you get shot. Watch out for that. Nobody has ever tested it, so I wouldn't try it. So smart! Just be careful with it. Tunnels are really cool, but it's important that you understand the safety rules of the device. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule 2. Keep your finger off the trigger whenever you don't want to fire. In some cases, subjects inspect the gun, which can be very dangerous if you're looking down into the chamber of the device. Rule 3. Do not straighten your arms. The device has a big kickback when you fire, so we don't want to break any bones. Or deal with the insurance. Rule 4. Do not touch the barrel of the gun or stick any fingers or any limbs into it. Rule 5. Do not stick your fingers into the glowing energy release holes on the device. Rule 6. Do not compare the ecliptic tunneling device with the Aperture Science handheld portal device. They are different. Very different. Don't even think about it. Rule 7. These rules are important. Don't forget them. Rule 8. This device is not waterproof. Contact with water could cause a dangerous malfunction, opening a dimensional hole into a different time. This hasn't been scientifically proven, but it's safe to assume. Rule 9. Only point out what you want to shoot. Again, shooting humans has never been tested, so don't be the first one. Or cause anyone to be the first one. Rule 10. Not really a rule, but you shouldn't worry about falling from high altitudes. The weird things on your legs take up all the shock. Rule 11. Don't think about how the device works. Numerous subjects who have thought about it have... Just don't think about it. Isn't it weird, though? Are you the same person coming in as the person coming out? Like, are you being rebuilt? Or is there, like, a duplicate world somewhere and we just think it's the same world? It's really mind-boggling, huh? Makes you want to think about it. Right! Rule 12. Wait. Um. Hold on. What was it again? Sorry. Just give me a minute. Don't be intimidated by the size of the room. Your speed is retained through tunnels. For example, if your pencil happened to roll off your desk into a tunnel on the floor while the other one was on the wall, it would fly out of it. with 
device will also retain their speed. If you're scared of heights, try not to hit yourself on the head from flailing your armor. Brain dead subjects can test. We've tried it before. Some of the test subjects were having difficulties with this chamber, so I was told to try to explain it as simply as possible. These very dangerous, high-powered orange and blue things are actually star-crossed lovers. When you push the button, the orange thing will send a very dangerous, fiery love letter, and your job is to try to get the love letter to the blue thing. Am I making sense? Yeah, I make sense. Have fun. But be careful. Like I said, very dangerous. spend a very long time in this room. Sometimes to the point of starvation, let's avoid starving. See that gun in the middle? 100% test subjects have said it's really good. Not to mention, an ecliptic tunneling device inspector came by and rated it an A. It's true. Some subjects may be alarmed and assume they're shooting fireballs, but no, unfortunately. The device is now able to place orange portals as well, which can also be alarming, but you'll get used to it. Most test subjects forget the important safety tips, which have caused accidents and injuries, so let's go over them once again. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule 2. Keep your finger off the trigger whenever... Uh, you know what? You remember them, don't you? We don't have to go through it again. All you need to know is to be careful.
This, uh, next one is very dangerous. I can't tell you how dangerous, but just watch out for gunfire. I can't come along with you into the chamber to help you out, so you'll be on your own. I'm really hoping to see you after the test. Good luck. <laughs>
okay. I was worried. 76% of test subjects have been unable to pass through that one. Uh, anyway, if you're hurt, medical equipment is here for you to use. Band-aids and stuff. Just walk through the door when you're ready. When testing is over, you'll be given a test companion survey. I'd, uh, really appreciate it if you gave me a five? That's too much. How about at least a four? A three? Please? Ah! What? This is not part of a test! Grab onto something! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do?